Hello and welcome to another Game White video. Today we're looking at SSX. I'll go straight into the World Tour. This is a game I've really been looking forward to. Um, basically it's based on the PS2 versions but obviously a lot more high res blah blah blah, new upgrades, completely new like, system of controls with the analog stick. But I'm actually using the old controls for now because I prefer using the buttons a lot more. Uh, which I've used in the demo. But yeah. Hey folks, DJ Atomica here, broadcasting live from my nifty sound booth, bringing you all the latest news to shake up the world of extreme sports. So it turns out that recently, three of the best riders snow, surf, and dirt have ever known have come together to do something big. The three riders in question are surf legend Tane Mumea, snowboard superstar Mac Fraser, and the one and only Zoe Payne. They're calling themselves SSX, short for snowboarding, surfing, and motocross. And they have an idea. They plan to ride and conquer the world's nine most deadly descents. They're not going to do it alone, so they've scoured the globe and built Team SSX from some familiar faces, a few new ones, and together they represent the nine best riders in the world. Recent news has found my ears, though, that one of their original team members, Griff Simmons, has bailed on Team SSX. And with Griff gone, most of SSX's funding has fallen. So SSX has turned to their fans for help. Live streaming this monumental event will give SSX the funding they need to get right back in this thing and kick off the event. Now it's Team SSX versus Griff in a race around the globe for all the glory. And Griff has a head start. The stage is now set. Good luck. So as you can see, there's not much of a story to it. Obviously, the snowboarding is going to do most of the talking in this game. And the gameplay, which is completely fine by me, to be honest. That's what I want from a game. Plenty of good gameplay. Just in this sort of game, you don't really need a major story to sort of keep you going. Oh, we tried this in a demo, but we do it anyway. Basically, it's like a tutorial. We're using the snowboard and we're using the descent from the helicopter as a way to learn how to do the tricks. I'm going to use the action buttons because, as I said, I prefer that a lot more. There we go, done the first bit. <laughs> Sometimes there's a noise you acknowledge it for some reason. Hold triangle. I never watched them um, snowboarding that much to be honest. Obviously this is more of an extreme version of what you might see on telly for example. I know there's some, snowbo some snowboarders that go for a bit more extreme style but obviously not to this extent because you might as well just have a death wish. Yeah, but the tricks are feel very fluid. It feels really nice. I had a lot. Of, I had done a lot of press on the demo, trying to get like gold and stuff like that. Um, there's a there's a lot of need for speed to run sort of influence from it. So you're sharing scores with friends, and it does feel good that obviously if you beat your sort of teammate and stuff, not a teammate. There you go, me. Some reason that's not there. You go. Um, yeah, so you have like your your mate on the scoreboard, and also you you see their ghost, and you're obviously trying to beat it desperately. It does give that sort of influence on the game, which makes it a lot more fun. Uh, apparently, multiplayer is you don't you don't see them, but you have like ghosts, so you have you can set up like multiplayer events, which have like hundred players in it or something.
So yeah, this is just a very simple tutorial, just showing us basically what's happening. This is if you've played the demo already, and then this is what it basically is just the same. I'm just basically just doing loads of combos. Pick it up sometimes. And it goes into super trick mode, which is definitely this is what you want to do. You want to combo this basically all the way down the hill, which is pretty hard. And there's some different modes such as. Um, Deadly, des deadly descent, which is basically you trying to run down this crazy snow mountain and try not to die, basically. So you don't really worry about tricks. But you do get a, a highest hit combo and stuff like that. So that's the tutorial finished. Got the wind suit open. She's actually a part of the game. Actually, yes, you do levels where you can actually use that. I've seen some gameplay on it, it looks pretty bloody extreme to be honest. It looks pretty crazy. But it's pretty fun at the same time, isn't it? Well, I don't complain too much. ground tutorial, okay fair enough. This is basically just a different tutorial but also on ground level. I think this might be the same one we have in the demo as well which is a tad annoying. I think this helicopter is completely utterly crazy. You just see, every time you see it in like a cutscene you just spin it around in circles. I'm surprised it still stays up in the sky to be honest. Basically, the events are so extreme, you just get dropped off by a helicopter, which is pretty crazy. Left stick to control the movement. And just do like a nose press or tail press. Which basically is a way of continuing the combo on a lot longer. Basically, you want to hold it down for the jumps. Mm, was crushed. Do tricks on the rails. I think I've seen skateboarders do this, but I don't know. You never know with these weird skateboarder people. <laughs> I don't think they can. It's more of a uh, skateboarding thing, isn't it? Not snowboard. Basically, you can rewind time as well. So you could do something wrong. Jump! 
Basically, this is the mode you want to get into. Every time you play, you want to get into the old tricky mode. Oh, oh god, I'm forcing smash into a tree then. Nose press. You can just like storm doing this. Craziness. It's like a sort of weird troll mode. Beaming lights everywhere. So when you get like a combo where you haven't sort of died, you get like a normal, get like a plus. So you do like a certain amount of hit combos, different moves. So yeah. Ground training. Done that. Oh, I wasn't that keen on when I done the demo. I wasn't that keen on the races. Um, mm, I don't know. Let's see how it goes. The races didn't seem well, I don't know, just like playing out the tricks and trying to boost up and do not just going straight as fast as possible. Let's see how it goes though. Some of the good thing about this game is the music's really good. So we I've listened to some of the soundtracks on YouTube and stuff and it's really, really nice. It's definitely a plus point for it. Getting jumped off now. Getting ready for a race, man. Getting ready for a race. Basically press forward to go forward quicker. So you've got yeah, sort of movement forward. Big jump, I think. Yeah, baby! Woohoo! Oh, I'm sick of that. Oh, Jesus. This whittling bit is crazy. Boost mode is crazy sometimes. Ugh. Don't know if this is the quickest way, but I'll do it anyway. Whoa, gods. How the hell can you do that on a bloody railway? Spin, spin, spin. Grindage. I thought you can boost on the rails and stuff. That could have got me a bit of time. Seems to do okay. At this point, I think it's the first race to actually come first in. I just enjoy the races before. I only tried it. At the beginning, it does take a little while to get used to the controls in this game. I was using the analog sticks for quite a while until I found uh, the D pad. I could use like the buttons. Oh, what the hell? No! Oh, what the hell? How close was that? Oh man, I'm second. Jesus, how close was that? That was insane. I've been first for ages. I know this was someone just went, wee, and breathed straight past me. Oh, you little bitch. <laughs> oh, my opponent's Griff. This week, I think it's the first time I've done that on a different level than the demo. This should be different. I've just played the demo like, God knows how many times, just trying to get beat in my score every time. 
it gets bloody addictive, I tell you, just constantly like trying to beat your combos and sometimes the combos almost come a little bit of a, a distraction and sometimes it gets a little bit annoying because that's all, that's all you seem to be focusing on where you can just do like really cool tricks and not worry about linking stuff together it can be a sort of problem with it but let's have a go at this Snowflakes are found throughout each level, collecting that snowflake gives you bonus credits. Oh god. Whoa, Jesus. Got a bit cool out there. I seem to be beating by quite a bit though. These rails are just insane. Wee! How the hell did she do that? <laughs> Whoa, Jesus. Oh god, oh god. Oh, I'm with a massive trader. Trying that tree, but didn't let me clock onto it. Clock on? What does clock on mean? You get what I mean. Whoa, Jesus! Yes, managed to get land myself right on the rail. Oh god, the tree's out. How much trees you want? Pretty much thrashed into hell then. Oh yeah! Level 4, whatever the hell that means. We're really not sure. Anyway, that concludes quite a long first part for SSX. I hope you enjoyed. Please make sure you subscribe, like, and favourite. And come back soon.